Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a chest that gives you random loot in Roblox Studio. Let's get into it. Quick reminder that all of this will be a model in the description. So, I have a chest model that I just made here quickly. If you want, uh, you can just search for a chest and grab a random one. Or if you have your own already done because you clicked on this video and you wanted to just know how to get random loot. Okay, so let's insert a folder into replicator storage and rename it to loot. Well, it doesn't matter, but loot's just the best because that's what you get out of the chest. Now, you can just fill this folder with random items that you will get from the chest. So, I'm just going to get classic sword, minecraft sword, fire sword, Uh, this, whatever this is. Oh, it's not a tool. Uh, let's get a gun. And let's get a flash light. Okay. So, no matter how much items you put in this model, it's still just going to choose one random one. Okay. There we go. So, now we can start scripting. So make sure your chest has a part like this, you know, like a part that you can see, it's clear, it's like the part that's like a handle that will open it. Now insert a proximity prompt or whatever you want, but I'm just using a proximity prompt because it's just easy. So now action te text, we're going to do open because we're opening the chest. And then object, object text is the chest because that's what we are opening. And then hold duration 0.5 because... If it's zero, then it just won't show up. So now, let's start scripting. Now follow along with me. Okay, so let me run through this with you. So script parent triggered. Okay, so this line basically means, so there's like a circle that shows up and then it's got a key bind in the middle. So whenever that does a full circle, you know, you hold it for 0 0.5 seconds. Once it completes, then it gets triggered, which is what this means. And then this play a bit means it's getting the person who's busy doing this, you know, like holding E on this. So then local loot is equal to game not replicated store shall loot get children. So that just is getting the variable of loot so it's just easier. And then game not replicated storage, obviously that's where the folder is. And then it's saying get children. So this basically means it's getting everything inside of the folder. Then chosen loot is loot mapped out random. Okay. So this just means it's gonna choose one random item from this folder. So it's just gonna choose one random thing. And then it's gonna clone it, so duplicate it. And then the parent, so it's gonna put it into the player's backpack. The person who's holding E. So let's test it out. Okay, there it is. And then once it does a full circle, we get a random item. To show you it's random, I'll do it again. Flashlight, random sword. Yeah, okay, you understand. So I'm just going to make this more realistic and add this last line of code. So what this is doing is just destroying the chest because I just want to make it realistic. So I, so you can't loot it twice basically. So let's have a look. Boom, it works. Oh, I got it on. So that is all for today's video. Bye, guys.